Hi, this is Ben with Flycraft. Today we're going to show you how to install your Flycraft SUP accessories. The first step is to basically unwrap all your accessories, get them laid out so you can see what you're working with. Okay, you're going to need some tools for this. First off, an adjustable wrench, a 9 16 wrench, 7 16 wrench, an Allen key set of 5 30 seconds and a 3 16 a screwdriver, you could also substitute these wrenches for another adjustable wrench, or you can also get away with just any kind of pliers as well. Okay, the first step is to grab your hardware. You've got some longer quarter inch bolts. They're similar sized, however, two of these are a little bit longer than the others, okay? Zoom in on that. They're just a quarter inch longer. Okay, you're gonna start with the longer bolts. So set the shorter ones aside. Next, we're gonna take our U-shaped frame piece and our flat piece here with the flanges with the anchor and net holder. We're gonna set those on these top holes, making sure that these longer flanges are pointing up or out. This is the front of the tower. Next, we're gonna drop these longer bolts in through here. You might need to tweak this just a hair. Okay, no, that's okay if they kind of pop up when you set it down. Next, we're going to take these arm pieces. Now, what you want to do is you want to have this flange shooting out this way. So, and also, you want this flange here facing the opposite direction. Next, we're going to put that through. Take a one of the uh, Nylox nuts and just put that on thumb tight. Same with this side. got the basics rolling here. So we'll just leave that kind of standing flat. Next we're going to take our other slightly shorter quarter inch bolts. We're going to stick these through these lower holes. Finger tighten these Nylox nuts. Okay, now we've got this mainly assembled. You're gonna want to make sure when you tighten these down, you do it on a flat surface. So either the ground, this table's flat, so we're just gonna do it here. Okay, now we're gonna tighten all of these bolts. You'll start to feel a little bit of pressure. You don't wanna over tighten these. You wanna get this bolt so it's pretty close to flush with the nut. Okay, we've got all four of these bolts tightened. Next, we're going to move on to this rear brace piece. This is just a flat piece here. This is going to go on the rear bars. We're going to take these inch and three quarter bolts, thread those through, and line this up. You might need to adjust that a little bit once that's in it'll hold it in the proper position and again we're going to put these nuts on the back and go ahead and tighten those okay next we're going to take these eye bolt pieces those are going to go in sideways here on each side this is what you're going to attach your straps to same thing just install these Nylox nuts on there and we will when we tighten these we're going to want to have this eye bolt vertical because when the hooks clamp on there they're going to be pulling down so you don't want them sideways make sure when you tighten them they end up going vertical okay next we have the rod holder note this little flange here needs to be on the bottom 
we're going to put our bolt through the hole. We want these two little brackets facing upwards. And this is going to go in right up here. And that flange is going to hold this in place. And we're going to basically tighten that with an Allen wrench and a socket. Next, we've got the bottom portion of our rod holder bracket. This is going to fit on the inside here. We're going to take another inch and three quarter nut, feed it through this piece, attach the bolt, and tighten it down. Okay, next we're going to install this cam cleat. The cam cleat you want, you'll notice that these cleats open this way. You want them to open towards the front of the frame or essentially in that direction. But before we install this, we're gonna take these out and put on this saddle, which will keep the rope in tight. Then we're gonna drop these in there and install these nuts. Next we're just going to tighten these. Okay, now we want to make sure we did this right. So make sure these are when they flip open they open to the forward area of the frame. That way when you're pulling the rope in, it'll slide through. Coming back, it'll lock. You can just lift it up and let it go to release your anchor. Okay, next we're gonna install the anchor rope bag. So we're basically going to open up these Velcro attachment points. Start on one side. So we may need to adjust this. So we get it further on. But you want this nice and snug right underneath the cross member bracket. Next, we're going to take some of these little bungees, wrap this around, loop it around the ball. While we're at it, we're going to install this bungee through this little hole. Actually, I should have done this first, but that's okay. Let's undo that. Basically, loop it through. Pull that tight. Then, when your rod slips in here, this will go so you can lock your rod in if you need it. Okay, now the gear tower is complete. We're gonna take our straps. I'd recommend just always leave these straps attached to the eyelets. When you take them off, take them off the board. That way you're not gonna get them lost. Uh, I would also recommend putting this cam cleat towards the top. These will just clip in two on each side. These straps also have this pretty sweet little bungee strap here, which will show you how to use that. That essentially is gonna hide the extra rope to give you more tangle-free love on your board. Okay, next we're gonna install the paddle holder. This is comes equipped with a ram tough claw. We're essentially gonna put it up here on this arm. And we're going to tighten it up just a little bit, but enough where we can still adjust it. What you're gonna to wanna to do, you can either wait to do this until you've got this attached on your board, but you're gonna take your paddle and you're gonna kinda of twist this until you get something like that. Once you get the alignment lined up, then you can crank this down. There is some adjustability, so you can, if you prefer your paddle, on different angles, 
but this is about what we've been finding is working the best. Okay, that should wrap up the install on the gear tower. Next, we're gonna start with the gravity fin. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the gravity fin. I'm gonna start with this pulley system. Line that up with the holes. They are on a slight angle to drop the rope perfectly center through this rear slot. We're gonna take these short quarter inch bolts, slide them in, and then again, just install these nuts. Okay, the gravity fin also has another cool option so you can run the anchor without the gear tower. You can reinstall this pulley piece on the back and in the future we'll have this cam cleat stopper available so you don't need the tower to run your anchor. You can run it with just the gravity fin. That should be coming this spring. Next we're going to install these little stopper bolts. These are that little short Allen head bolts and basically these are just going to go in these bottom holes here. Add the nut, flip it around, throw that in there. And these are essentially going to stop the fin at the appropriate angle. Okay, next we're gonna install the fins. We're gonna grab this hardware. We're gonna undo the nut, pull one of the washers out. Now these fins, each one has a logo. We wanna have the logo facing out on each one. So these fins will go on the outside here. So we're gonna take this nut with one washer, stick it through this side, take the other washer, put that on that side, attach the nut. Okay, we lied to you on the tools. We think you're also going to need a half inch wrench. In this case, we're just going to use our adjustables because we don't have that tool with us. Now the key here is we're going to tighten this up, but we're not going to make it completely tight. And how this works is we want this tight enough so there's not much wobble but it's tight enough to keep these together. Okay so this is free flowing but it's a little too free flowing. I want to tighten this more It's about snug. Now if I lift this up, we want it to barely go down, okay? So the gravity is gonna keep that fin down. Now I could loosen this up a little bit if that sticks, but that seems to be pretty good. In fact, I'm gonna loosen this just a hair. Okay, that is about perfect. Now the nice thing, these fins are flexible, so if you are turning, this is gonna give you some give, as well as generally you're gonna be hitting rocks, and it's gonna flip up like that. So we're gonna basically do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so all the hardware you should be left over with are these larger bolts. We'll show you where to use these on the board. Okay, now we're gonna install the tower on the board. The nice thing about this is with all our D-rings, we have a lot of different options of where you can install this. So if you like it further forward or further back, you can pretty much put it wherever you want. We generally start on the second one back and put about two D-ring distance in between. So we're gonna just do an initial clamp on here and we're going to 
gradually tighten this up. Now, you want to make sure that you get these straight, so you might need to do a little adjustment. I'm going to position this about even. Then we're going to kind of slowly tighten each one of these. When we get it held in place, then we can crank down a little bit. You don't need to really cinch it on there, but you want to leave it tight. This one I did wrong, so I'm just going to loosen. Straighten that out. Tighten that down. Now, we're going to take these little bungees and I did this one wrong too. So I'm just going to unclip it get it straight, clip it on, tighten it up, slide these and through the bungee, keep it nice, neat and tidy. Okay, here's a close up of the bungee, slide that in there, it's going to give you a nice, super clean attachment point. Do it over here. Pull that through, keeps our straps nice and neat. Okay, next we're gonna install the gravity fin. This is going to slide in here, and we're gonna take these larger bolts, beat them outside in. Put the nuts on here. Now these are larger nuts, so that you can hand tighten this. And that should keep you good for the day. If you're gonna leave this on, we recommend tightening this down with a wrench, but there's enough grip on here where you can just do these with your hands. that will get you through the day. Or if you want, you can also tighten them down with some wrenches. Test these fins, make sure they're pulling freely. Now we're ready to install the anchor. Next, we're gonna take our anchor rope and our anchor, and we're gonna tie a bow line on here. Okay, with your bow line, you basically thread the line through the eyelet. We're gonna take this side and basically turn it, make our hole in our tree. The rabbit is gonna come out of the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole. And then you're gonna pull this nice and tight. Next, we're gonna take the other end of the line, feed it through the pulley. I'm gonna pull that all the way through. On this end. Then we're gonna take the end of the line here, feed it through this side. Then we can just pull that up, it'll lock it in place. Okay, when you've deployed your anchor and you're bringing it in, the easiest way is you pull it like this, you kind of keep a nice loop in this hand. Pulling it in, it'll come tight. You'll pull it through there, lock it. Then the best way to do this is reach behind, kind of shove that rope in the back, keep it out of your way.